What is going on guys? Marcus here with the Reformation Woodshop and in today's video I'm going to be telling you seven things that you absolutely need to know if you want to get really good at using a scroll saw. I have been utilizing my laser pretty frequently and I wanted to get back to the roots and show myself that I can still scroll so I'm making this video to give you tips and to prove to myself that I am still the man. All right, so number one is gonna sound obvious, but there are a few things that you need to know to prepare your machine. You need to make sure the bed on your scroll saw is level, it is square. It is exactly the perfect angle that you're gonna to need to be going for. You're gonna make sure the tension on your blade is exactly what you want. You can feel with your finger as you tighten or loosen it. If it is over tightened, then it is gonna pop, or if it's too loose, and it's not gonna make the cut that you want and most likely bend and break. And lastly, you can oil your blade for nice smooth cuts. You can use any sort of oil. WD-40 also works. Number two, when working with a scroll saw, you want to make sure that you get the right material for the job. If you're scrolling something that you'd really like to paint, you want to go with MDF or something really easy to cut. And MDF is really, really easy to get a nice, good coat of paint on. If you're going for something with a rustic look, make sure that if it is a hardwood, you take your time when you're scrolling and you cut through as slow as is necessary because it is very easy to pop blades on hardwoods or thicker material. Tip number three goes right along with the material tip and number two, and that is to sand your material before you start cutting. If you try to sand everything after, there will be breakage almost 100% of the time. If you sand it and make a nice smooth top and smooth bottom, it'll ride across the bed of your scroll saw a whole lot easier, and you won't have to sand anything or try to get into the nooks and crannies after you've already cut all your cuts. Tip number four and one of the most important tips you could possibly have is the way that you are translating the images that you're wanting to cut. In the beginning, I would spray an adhesive on the wood, slap down the image, and then cut it out. That way it was absolutely no good. You'll have to end up sanding everything off and it takes forever and it's obnoxious. The best and most efficient way is to fully cover your material with blue tape. And then after that, you can spray your adhesive on, put your image down on the blue tape, make all of your cuts, and then after you're done, peel that blue tape off and you will have no residue left on your material whatsoever. Now I know I'm the guy that's giving the tips, but sometimes I don't follow the tips. And this is the one rule that I always break because I have ADD and I just wanna get whipping and cutting. Number five, make sure that you always cut out your centers first. So if you have a O that you're cutting out, cut out the center of the O and then cut the outside out. If you have any sort of cursive lettering, all of the small centers, drill a tiny little hole through them, put your blade in, make your cuts before you do all of your other lettering. If you don't do this, you most likely are gonna break pieces if you're trying to cut things out when they're already scrolled. Number six, stack cutting. If you're doing something like a mountain shaped cut and you have two of those mountains, stack them together, cut them at the exact same time so you have perfectly identical cuts and you have half of the work and then separate them and add them to your piece. This is an efficient tip and this is also an aesthetic tip. If you have perfectly congruent shapes in all of your pieces, you're gonna look more and more like a professional. And the last tip I have for you guys is choosing the right adhesive to glue your pieces down to the backers that they're gonna be resting on for all eternity. Lots of folks wood glue, lots of folks use E6000 or whatever adhesive you could think of. I use Starbond solely because that stuff is my jam. All you have to do is lay it down on your lettering or whatever it is that you have scrolled, spray down the accelerator on your board and set it down on top of the accelerator and bam, it is done. I will not use any other adhesive and you shouldn't either and I'm not getting paid to say that. I am by no means a professional scroll saw artist, but I have picked up a few tips along the way and I hope these helped you. If you have any questions about scroll sawing, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you have any tips of your own, leave them there as well. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one.